Carlos, congratulations, mate. A little over 12 months ago, we were sitting uh, having a chat after a silver medal in the men's triples at Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. You're a world champion now. How's it feel? Oh, I'm ecstatic, to be fair. Uh, I'm ecstatic for the two boys I played with and basically the whole Australian team. You know, this is for them, this is uh, for the support staff um, and everyone that's put time and effort into, uh, into this campaign. There's plenty of comments coming through the socials, and you know, Sheriff, why isn't he skipping? How'd you handle that throughout, throughout the week? And you just got better and better as, as the um, format went on, from what I saw. Yeah, we had a job to do. Uh, there was no, uh, there was no real thoughts about that. I'm not really a, a social media type person anyway, so it didn't worry me. Um, at the end of the day, uh, let the bowls do the talking, got the job done. So you know, it doesn't matter what the what the format is. Pick the right team, and get it done. You get a chance to double up next week, mate. You must be pretty excited to get a crack at the fours as well. Absolutely. A, uh, you know, a second chance, a second second chance to the medal, are fantastic. I can't wait. Jimmy, world championship, mate. Must feel unreal. Yes, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of hard work and sacrifices this year. And get a, the ultimate result is uh, an absolute bonus. And the game and I and the team, we over the moon. You uh, you left a late to, to right to the end. Uh, you down by one in the last end. What's gone through your minds uh, into to going to the final end? Well, the whole game was just it was just tight. You know, we we played good. They played amazing, of course, and you no know, each given. And you know, you don't matter how shot you, even when I drew shot with my first, I just felt like it wasn't going to stay there, and somehow it did. So yeah, good stuff. And yeah, just to work your way into it, mate. And you know, neither of you, the teams, gave an inch all match. It was just uh, you, you must be really wrapped with the way you guys held your nerve and, and stuck in there. I am because in our preliminaries we weren't we played so well the whole way through, and we had some really good wins. So we hadn't been in that really dog fight situation up at short today, and to test our metal, and thankfully. Our mezzle was there and we were able to, you know, tough it out regardless and um, get the, uh, the ultimate result. And you come away with, well, two world titles, mate, your para men's pairs and the team title. Yeah. You, must, you must just be over them. Yeah, well, yeah look, every, every for us is a, a first, you know. It's the first time we've been involved, first time, you know, we, we've got, you know, we've got our individual event, but the overall as well, lots of firsts for a para, you know, my home jackaroos. And uh, we could be proud of that ton of support, as all of us have, throughout this whole journey. And I can't say thank you for everyone uh, that supported us from, from the start. Thank you. Jackie, congratulations, mate. Not just uh, world championships, but a para team championships as well, mate. You must be over the moon. Oh, no, it's an awesome feeling. Like, the whole team performed really well. I mean, Serena and Cheryl, like, they had fought really well and they got the bronze medal but uh, they, they had a really good tournament and me and Jackie we sort of got better as the as the week went on so it, it was yeah great for us to get the final result. You must love these Gold Coast Greens mate you've got a Com Games gold up here now you've got a world championship uh, you must uh, must enjoy it up here. Oh, plenty of hours of practice here makes it makes it all you know gets, gets the rewards and um yeah, the Greens are always good to play on the Gold Coast. I uh, always enjoy coming back. A bit of a different one this time. Last, uh, the, uh, the Com Games Gold was with your dad. Now you come back with your brother. Uh, must be pretty special to be able to share it with him. Oh, no, it's pretty awesome to be able to do it. Have, have done it with my dad and now do it with my brother. And, yeah, no, that family support there behind you all the way is just, yeah, ma- massive even, and really helps you get you, get you over the line. And just very quickly, mate, Jackie and Rod, they must be awesome to be paired up with. They look like they're having so much fun out there. Now, how have you worked well alongside those two? Oh, Jackie and Rob, yeah. She, Jackie was soaking up every minute of it. She's enjoy, enjoying every moment. She just absolutely loved everything she could get out of it. And um, she's really pushing forward with her bowls. And, um, yeah, re- really great relationship there. Thanks to all the supporters. And, um, yeah, no, it's great. All the, all the messages of support, all, all really helps. Gaz, week one, done and dusted now. Every Jackaroo comes away with a medal and we've got three world champions. You must be absolutely wrapped. Yeah, we are. I mean, they've they've worked really hard. I've said it all week and it's been a huge preparation for us and 
Um, everyone's just put so much effort in that it's just a, a just reward. I'm really proud of them, really happy for them and uh, could be better at the moment. So week one done and dusted and ready for next week. Yes, you look at the Paras, we're going to come away with two gold and a bronze and the team championship as well. First time at um, Paras at a world championship. We couldn't have made a better start, could we? Oh, what a buzz. You know, I mean, all of the work that the people, you know, the coach, Ellen Faulkner, Claire Turley, uh, James Reynolds, actually, you know, world champion, but he's also done some coaching in the pathway system of Jackie Hudson, you know, so it's a wonderful story and, and a memory they'll never forget, I'm sure. The first, like you say, the inaugural uh, world champions and team world champions, just huge. Really, really ha happy for them. Yeah. I guess a bit of a tricky day potentially yesterday with a couple of results, not quite going our way, but you can see just this bond between the whole team and the camaraderie just looks unreal. Yeah, no, it's a really tight-knit group. I, I think, you know, you, you get to the nitty-gritty of a world championship, it's the best of the best. And our game, you know, anything can happen. Uh, we weren't quite on the top of our game, you know, in a couple of those disciplines yesterday. But we know that, we'll own that, and next week we'll come back bigger and better than ever. You know, full credit to our opposition, uh, Ireland and England. You know, they're fantastic in the men's pairs and the women's fours. So we'll take some learnings out of that and uh, bring that into next week. Yeah, so one more week to go, Matt. You must be pretty pleased with how, how things are poised. Everyone's playing you know, pretty well and um, you know, only one week left of you know, what's been a much-anticipated event. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, seven years in the making and um, they're, they're so excited. They're still excited usually by the middle of the week. You know, the first week you're, you're pretty fatigued and uh, uh, these players are certainly tired, but they're excited for the reverse disciplines now and um, a fresh start and a reset. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the second week, Matt. Good on you, Lockie. Thanks.